Oh, uh, good afternoon, Denise. Um, so I'm Jane Nichols. I'm Chief Executive for Direct Gov. So I run uh, the Direct Gov organisation within government. Um, and we've recently moved from the Department of Work and Pensions to the Cabinet Office. Uh, and we have a central organisation uh, that works with departmental teams and with franchises to deliver the Direct Gov uh, website and mobile channels. Thank you. And I think we've seen um, over recent times how Direct Gov website has expanded and you're getting more and more content on there. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what you have on there and how people are using it? Sure. So uh, over the last three years we've had a programme of web convergence. That's uh, nearing completion. Um, and over that time we've our visitor numbers have grown to around uh, 30 million uh, a month. Um, we have uh, quite good satisfaction uh, ratings, so the customer satisfaction with the site is, is generally good, it's in the 70% rated very good, um, and we also have um, lots of repeat visits. And, and quite a number of new services have come online, so for example, whole pension service is now, uh, all their the content is now on DirectGov, all of the Job Centre Plus, we've got new uh, transactions coming on this year around passports, so generally uh, the, the breadth uh, is, is good, but uh, we haven't yet completed convergence, so not everything is there. You mentioned there about mobile applications yeah. as well, so you're actually expanding on the mobile side of things as well? Um, well we have a mobile uh, a channel which uh, is repurposed uh, content um, and we have applications that suit the mobile. So over time we actually want to deliver the same experience on the mobile as the web, so that's our, that's our plan. But the mobile usage is going up a lot. And you mentioned that you're getting good customer feedback. Yes. What sort of comments are you yeah. getting? Are people finding the content easy to, easy to navigate? Well, we have two uh, levels of feedback. We do surveys regularly and, and from those we know that ease of use uh, it does need uh, attention, it's fairly good, but it needs attention because as we bring on more content we have to make sure we maintain that uh, aggregability. Uh, but we also have just implemented uh, a comment on this article feature, so we're getting very rich feedback at the, data, at the actual page level, which we're feeding back to the departments to help us improve all of the content and services. So that's early days, that's a new feature. So the individual departments are still responsible for their own content that they're putting onto Direct Gov? They always have been, um, and in fact we, there's a bigger push now because uh, what we want is all of the franchises in departments to be accredited so that they can publish direct to the web. Direct Gov has always had a sort of QA role, uh, and we want that to be as light touch as possible, and the departments who own the content can just deliver what they need when they need to. And are the departments themselves finding benefit in having the content on Direct Gov in terms of ease of uh, interaction with the citizens? I believe so. In fact, again, a recent survey showed that there was very high satisfaction from our departments with the service from Direct Gov in terms of reaching their audiences. So I think uh, that, is, that is going well. Good. Is there anything that um, you'd like to tell us about how people can find out more about Direct Gov? Direct.gov.uk. Um, and uh, you'll find out everything you need to know. Thank you very much, Jane. Okay.